So here we're checking out an open source GPU here at the Linera Connect. And uh, who are you? I'm Fabricio from University of São Paulo. I, I think it's cool. <laughs> so you you working on the open source GPU? How does that work? Well, uh, it works basically using an SOC that has an ARM inside. Then we run entire software part of the graph pipeline uh, over the ARM. Then the hardware part that is implemented, we uh, get on the FPGA. So the hardware part, when you say that, is it means the GPU hardware, or what do you mean? The GPU hardware, the, the, the part that was implemented on it. And uh, uh, so this is an Altera uh, Cyclone SOC Cyclone 5. Uh, this is uh, ARM uh, Cortex A9 or something, or yes, yes, yeah. it's a it's a A9 if I remember well. And then um, is this special? Nobody has done this before. Is this the uh, first time somebody do this like this? Uh, like this, I think. Uh, the approach of using SOC, I think, is the first. But there are some GPU implementations. Maybe not the entire graph pipeline, but I think the this project is new about this. So, what is what GPU design do you have? What do you do? You, you make open source? Yes, it is open source. Uh, you can get it on the the, 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 the link in the GitLab. Uh, it is on the Apache license. Pass two. Uh, it is open to everyone. Did you design it? Yes. You designed the GPU. Yes, the the, the, the part that it was implemented in hardware, I designed it by myself. So uh, it, it's not like Mali. It's not like Power VR. It's not like uh, uh, the other ones. What no, is it? No, 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 because it's uh, it's much more simple. But the the, the main question is not that. Uh, the main point. It is uh, the approach, the methodology. You can just take this entire graph pipeline uh, on software, then choose some part of this pipeline and implement it, implement it on the hardware using the FPGA. So you can have a, a, a development board and a development methodology to uh, GPU and to GP, GPU. GP, GPU too? But you say it's a simple GPU, what you have? It is simple because it implements just on the rasterizer. Uh, the what visor? Rasterizer. Rasterizer. Rasterizer is that point that uh, takes the, uh, the, the, the vertices of triangles and choose when it is, uh, when it is filled with pixels. So inside the triangle must have pixels, outside uh, don't have pixels. So uh, based on this open source project you have right here, uh, it's possible to do much more? What's going to happen in the future? Well, we can do uh, a better memory management. Uh, we can do shaders for uh, using the shader processing. Uh, we can do the GP GPU approach, we can do video codification and any uh, hardware like that. But what's the future end goal for this? Wow. Is it right now it's running on an FPGA? Is it going to forever on the FPGA? Or? No, I, I think uh, if we have a, a very good and very well developed hardware, we can take this and put on an ASIC. There's a lot of work to do this, but that is the first step. So there's a lot of work still? Who is going to do this? Yes, maybe me, maybe the community. Uh, today I'm, I'm working almost alone, but if anyone wants to help, it would be great. When did you start this project? Well, I did this in half of the 2016, and it took me about eight months to to achieve this this, this, this stage. And uh, you had a presentation here at the Linara Connect. You you present this? Yes, yes, I presented it. I think the Linara Connect. Many people show up. Yes, yes, people get interested in it. 
because well it's a very good project it, it was great uh, it, it is great to have a, an open GPU uh, it was hard to, to develop it but it's great some uh, some some guys around here they've been working on the open open source Adreno GPU free Adreno uh, yes. and there's a, a Mali open source Lima right as it has anything to do with what you do no, no. Nothing Today, to do. nothing to do. I think it's much more the hardware part, not the driver part. You're not just the, doing open source driver only. I think yeah. yes. Uh, I don't know uh, per, uh, deeply the the work, but I think it is more the driver part. Here we are talking about the uh, the hardware, the RTL, and everything like that. So, um, what's an RTL? RTL is the register transfer level. It is the part that you use to uh, make an ASIC. So it's the intermediary, intermediary part to make an ASIC. And uh, what kind of considerations have been made when when Mali designed Mali hardware or when PowerVR designed PowerVR? Did you study all that? What the differences are? Or are they all secret? Nobody knows what the hardware is. Well, the point is, is uh, the, the hardware is a thing that is very closed. Uh, today, the the, the, the GPUs uh, are more or less equivalent with more or less the, the same approach, but they differ on the the details. So that's the part we want here. Uh, we want a really open GPU with a community uh, giving uh, a great step to the knowledge, to the free knowledge. So uh, what do you think about the Linaro Connect and what, what, what kind of questions did you get at your sessions? What, what did they, people come up and say, ask some stuff? Well, they, they get very excited to, to know about it. Uh, they asked me about the, the source code. It's very important to have the, everything open. Uh, they asked me about uh, uh, if I could use other platforms, uh, if it is, I, I don't know, it, it's, it, it's things like that. People get really excited about it. What do you think about Linaro Connect? How about the Linaro guys? Well, Linaro is very great. It is a, 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 it's a, a central, uh, point of the, the technology, people say about technology, even uh, at the lunch, people say about technology all the time, that's very good and that are uh, people um, that knows very deeply about this, about uh, their subject. It's very interesting. And how is it that the university in Sao Paulo? Yes, yes. How is it over there? Well, uh, there are, we have a lot of opportunities uh, in this hardware part, uh, we have some approach, we have some initiatives, but it's not so easy to find the, the, the correct people, the, the, the right people to talk about, to, uh, to think about these things. But I think uh, it's, it's good enough to, to start the development. Anybody working on new uh, chipsets over there in the division where you are, some, some hardware solutions? Uh, in, in chips? Yes, yes, people uh, ch try to do that, but the chip is a very uh, complex thing and we don't have the, 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 the structure to do that in large scale, but we have some initiatives like that. Today we are uh, working more on the IoT and the uh, higher level uh, development of technologies, not so uh, deep in this part that we are talking about here. It's, a, it's an international network of, in the community has to be global to get these kinds of things done, right? Yes, yes. All right, so uh, looking forward to the future, open source GPU. Uh, what is the name for it? What is the name of your GPU? Open GPU. Open it's, GPU. It's simple. <laughs> okay.